Hi folks, um, I had a little bit of a, um, an issue with the textbook. I was reading the textbook and they were talking about um, the difference between a moment and a couple. Now a couple is almost like a special case of a moment. They're both, both a moment and a couple are both measured in Newton meters, okay? But the one difference is a moment is one force acting around a pivot. So I'll give you an example of a, a moment. Um, you might have um, a, a pivot point here. And that's your pivot, and you might have a force acting here, creating a rotation around that pivot point. That's a moment, okay? Now, with a couple, what ends up happening is you have, so this is moment, okay? With a couple, you have two equal forces acting on an object. It could have a pivot point. It doesn't necessarily have to have a pivot point. Um, but you would have two forces acting um, parallel but in opposite direction and they're equal forces. So F1, F2 and F1 always equals F2 um, if it's a couple. So that's the difference between the two. Here on a moment you only have one force acting on a couple as in the word couple, which means two, you have two equal forces. So that's the first thing you need to know about them. And, and, and what they say about this is, in the, in, the, in the comment above, it says a moment creates rotation and translation, and a couple creates just rotation. Now, rotation, we understand, is, is, is a turning um, situation where it rotates. Translation is where something moves from point A to point B in a straight line. Okay, so um, if we were creating a translation in the object, um, in this object here, for instance, it would be turning, but it would also be moving in a given direction. Um, that will never happen with a couple. So that's the first thing you need to understand. But um, it's one thing to say that um, uh, that one creates translation in the case of a moment and the other doesn't. Trying to understand why that is was what I had problems with. So I went online and I had a look to see whether anyone could clear this up for me. And um, as it turns out, I managed to find a, um, a, an explanation which I thought was helpful to me. So maybe it'll be help, helpful to you. And basically what we, um, we need to do is we need to create a thought experiment in our minds. And the first one we're going to do is we're going to be looking at the idea of a moment. Okay, so a moment, as we know, is one force acting around a pivot point. So in this case, instead of having a pivot point, we're going to look at, um, from above, we're going to imagine that we have an ocean liner. This is our ocean liner, the smokestacks, and it's floating on the water. And we have a tugboat, and the tugboat is going to be pushing on this end of the boat. If you had um, a wharf here, this is our wharf, and that tugboat started to push in this direction, the boat would naturally start to turn. It would start to rotate in this direction. But because um, there's nothing holding the boat, the boat's also going to tend to drift in this direction while it's rotating. Okay, And if you don't believe me, go and jump in your bathtub and play with your rubber ducky, and you'll be able to work that out. So the boat's going to move. If we, if we turn around and we do the same experiment with two tugboats, and we've got our wharf here again, same boat, but this time we have two tugboats with equal power, okay, applying a force this way and a force this way, F1, F2, and F1 is going to equal F2 because this is a couple. If the two forces are applied at the same, they cancel each other out. So if you were trying to work out um, in a vector analysis of the moment, you've got one force going this way that creates the rotation and nothing to cancel it. So of course you're going to have a net motion um, for translation that moves in that direction. Now that's not going to happen obviously if I apply a pivot point here, but if the pivot point's not there, there is the potential for translation. It wants to go in a given direction that's um, determined by the force that's causing the rotation. In this instance here, if we go, um, if we add F1 to F2, 
um, in, in a vector sense, they cancel each other out. So that's why we don't have a translation. So the boat will rotate in that direction, but it will not head towards the wharf. It will stay where it is. So that's how you can imagine why, in the case of a moment, because we don't have a, 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 a balancing force for the force that creates the rotation, while we have translation for a moment, which is moving from one point to another in a straight line, but for a couple, we don't have translation. And that's the main difference between the two. Hopefully that helps you um, imagine the difference between the two. See you in the next video.